Living history is just that, bringing the past to life and making it make sense in the present. Our ancestors farmed with this equipment and put in long hours to do it. They had a lot of work to do every spring. Well, in 1900, spring brought a lot of different jobs on the farm. Number one being field preparation. By now we would have your oats in and growing and then finishing up the last of the spring plowing, uh, tillage, disking, getting your equipment ready and first part of May, the first half of May, you know, concentrate on getting your corn planted. That's right, corn wasn't planted until May, sort of like this year. It takes a lot of work at the farm to get ready to recreate the past, but it is something the staff looks forward to. Everyone's so excited when we actually do open the door for our general season visitors. It's such a great chance to um, welcome the public and it just reminds us why we're here is really to educate the public on 300 years of agricultural history. You can retire at age 24 at Living History Farms if you're a horse. Bill no longer has to pull the plow. He just gets petted and spends his time lounging in the barn as scores of children file through and look at a time we almost let slip away. You can touch, see, and hear 300 years of history at Living History Farms. They're open each day from 9 until 5, except Sunday, noon until 5. For the Agribusiness Report, I'm Ken Root.